go ahead and do that as well. Uh, always amazing action here at MSM. So much talented players coming out. And, you know, Spargo coming out as well. He's going to be at the uh, next Smash Ultimate Summit. So very excited to see Spargo compete at that tournament. Earned his way in through, uh, you know, a qualifying event. So that's yep. going to be super exciting to see. And, you know, we, we don't even know all of the other players that are going to Summit. Uh, Ultimate Summit just yet, so. Yeah, we won't even know until, you know, MSM in a couple of weeks. Yeah, that's going to be the last <laughs> qualifying spot. That is going to be crazy. I cannot wait for that tournament. It's going to be so hyped. There we go, game one, and it uh, looks like Sparta within a blight elegant with a trip to Battlefield. All right, so we are going to see the cloud coming out. I was actually pretty curious uh, what Spargo would uh, opt for. Um, in Smash 4, Cloud did uh, pretty damn well versus Luigi. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised that uh, Cloud does well against Luigi in this game. Just like the premise of it, right? Excellent parry jab punish there by Elegant. Yeah, so Elegant going to have to face off against another sword character. Had to face off against Tyranx's as Lucina. Now the Spargo Cloud is out to play. But not only is Cloud a swordy. But limit uh, blade beam, or just and just normal blade beam can make Luigi's life hell if Sparta decides to sit back and just hide behind it. But more of a content to just use these bears to dare Elegant to come at him. Yeah, and like oh, it's it's like insanely. That's so overwhelming, Charles. Like yeah. there's so much being thrown at him, and then it's just like jump fair and it hits like a truck. Yeah, look at how safe Spargo is playing around Elegant's movement. Just yeah, we got drop down. Oh, we got the ledge trump instead. I thought Spargo was gonna fish for drop uh, cross slash at ledge, but uh, you know, a trump is a trump, and it works. Okay, there's the cross slash, and Elegant trying to get these cross up rolls. He's trying to do this air to air, but it's so oh difficult. Oh my gosh! Is that Spargo the with the patience? Oh, no. he actually gave uh, Elegant a little bit of an assist, but that is all on Elegant for being able to survive that deep drop bear to start things off there. Yeah, Spargo tried to get the hit on the, uh, the side B. Again, that's another situation where Luigi is forced to double jump side B. He cannot just like side B, then double jump up B. So in those kind of situations, you can really just position your character, especially if you're up a stock and you just want to trade, just position your character you know, in front of Luigi at that point and just intercept the, the side B. It, whether oh. it be a misfire Speaking or not. Speaking of interceptions, oh, oh Elgin had, had the jump read interception, but instead, of course, up B is a big 50-50, man. <laughs> it just yeah. it did not pay off there. Sometimes you get the stock, other times you just get that 1%, that one coin, and then, uh, yeah, and then it's curtains. Uh, right there, the <laughs> limit was online. Finishing touch, definitely going to be the optimal punish there in terms of knockback. Yeah, absolutely. Speaking of optimal punishes, fair bear. Ooh, almost swung again, got a man. Elegant definitely deploying that spot dodge, the air dodge there to avoid getting hit. Okay, uses the limit here. Yeah, just going to use the limit to cover himself, whether he used the uh, limit up B or using the uh, neutral B there. Going to go high. Oh, and again, that time, it was Spargo opting not to do the secondary hit of up B. Just maybe he thought it was going to slide all the way down and not grab a ledge. I think that might have been it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, there's the jab. Wait a minute. We're seeing Can the jab come out more in this matchup than I think in any other matchup we've seen Where's so Where's the far. double jump? Okay, going to double jump up B straight to the ledge. Going to snap there. Um, if you get that very beginning part of the upbeat, you actually just automatically snap to the ledge. Cloud players uh, definitely really, really need that. Oh, the misfire. Not quite going to do much. Limits also look, at, look at Elegant just staring the bull in the, in the eye there. Shield. Oh, the crab oh. was out of range. The limit's online as well. The downer connects. Elegant barely surviving off the top. Just Elegant. stalling out the limit, yeah. Excellent decision there by Elegant. Elegant I mean, gets one back throw. Oh, that's just a F tilt swing. That's gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, right, right <laughs> there. It's kind of deflating in terms of an ending, but still excellently played by Spargo. He capitalized pretty much whenever he could. Yeah. The only times where he didn't was that little funny assistance there. I think on the second stock where he popped Elegant back up to top. But either way, he never let the game really slip that far out of hand, and Spargo just comfortably securing game one. Yeah, yeah, and right there, I feel like Elegant took that normal get-up gamble. The normal get-up gamble of like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna normal get-up. I'm gonna hope that you don't like react perfectly and hit me. I'm gonna shield it, or you swing too early, and then I'm gonna back the edge guard you. So, uh, Spargo definitely showing that he is very clean on that normal get-up punish with the yeah. forward tilt. Straight up B again, and dash attack. Okay, You'll see the, a lot of the clouds jams, like too? fish right. for up air after you get the up B in that kind of situation, but I really like that Spargo was like, no, I'm just going to chase Elegant DI now afterwards. 
Yep, Spargo trying to get some of these two-hit combos, but the uh, the Cyclone definitely denying him of that. The limit now online here. Platform Tech Chase, the up air into the up Oh e. my god! <laughs> that was so clean! Yeah, getting a bunch of damage there. Not going to get the KO. The But, wait a minute, where's the double jump? He, oh, that was air dodge, and oh, you cannot no. just air dodge like that that's so close such to an unwise decision from Spardo. I, I get that he wants to save the uh, the double jump resource, but really, like, that close to the stage, if Elegant's on point, he, he dunks that every time. That's yeah, on point, the back air. Yeah. Uh, nice. Oh. Nice slight escape there by Elegant. Able to... I like that Elegant two. went for the Rising Fair and just goes into Cyclone. Multiple hits, um, just in case his opponent is like a oh. little more on the fast volley side, turns into a scramble. Oh. oh, man. Oh, and the dare is coming down. The short off dare from Spargo. But unfortunately, he's forced to burn Limit. I will say this. I feel like Cloud does not get punished particularly for burning Limit that much in this game. That's just my, just my, yeah, yeah. my opinion. And I, I, I wonder, like, even just, like, the, the aspect of the tether grab as well. Luigi's uh, should be fine, especially on Battlefield. Yeah, not even close. But look at all the damage Elegant has put up on the board right now. Ooh, up smash? Oh, oh no. they both with the uppies. The little spaghetti here, directional air dodge, is able to get it off in time. I love the rising side B, but oh. the untackable. That was so smooth from Elegant. He was just ready for it. Yeah, and, and you even saw how that uh the rising side B kind of like stalls or rises Cloud up a little bit as he's getting those hits. Okay, the jabs don't connect. Uh oh, wait a oh, minute. And Here's the grab. Actually SDI. The cross up. I, I am watching Ooh. Spargo SDI for his life. Oh. Yeah, that's it. Oh, Alan was looking for the disrespect at the end. Especially, like, it really sucks when you get hit by that single hit of, uh, of Luigi up B. And like you're trying to, there, there's so many scenarios where like hold buffer is going to mess you up in that situation because it kind of like resets like all of your inputs essentially. Um, I Sparkle might have been able to live if he had like hyper awareness of like that particular situation and just mashed up B there, um, and just got that singular up B. He might have lived, yeah, but, but even you, then you it would be close. so scared off of doing that. Though, yeah, especially in the course of a game, especially when you just whiff the up B. It's hard. Like it is. <laughs> so. It is very hard to like under like super understand that situation. I don't know how much uh, Luigi. Oh, or hey, town! Experience. I love town. That's yeah. my favorite stage. Yeah, town's <laughs> town size. Yeah, I don't know how much uh, Luigi experience Spargo has. Uh, obviously, uh, elegant. The there is a strong uh, Luigi from TJ Waka. Okay. So nice. I, I, I mean, again, same similar region. You have maybe an over assumption, but. I just know that from my knowledge that there are a couple of Luigi's down south. Yeah, and it, it definitely looks like it as well. Just like the way Spargo is moving and... Oh, and being patient to Jeez. fish for that big limit cross slash punish. Wow, what an opening statement, Charles. Yeah, that uh, looks like he <laughs> really knows this matchup. <laughs> <laughs> like, that was the, the confidence to sink that low and just know exactly it's when and where to go for that limit. With wow. Cloud, not necessarily known for his, you know, offstage horizontalness. So. Yeah, 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 for sure. Oh, oh, my. Man, Sparkle, Sparkle does some creative options offstage. I, I'm really enjoying it. Ooh, yeah. wait a minute. Wait a minute. Body block? Oh, oh wait. Oh, my Ooh. God. He was off. Just oh, snare. Look. Reverse I, snare. I've was... never seen reverse snare do that much work. That was oh. so hyped that I wanted Spargo to like go down there and just like suicide there, <laughs> just because it felt like I was watching like a combo video. It's like, oh wait a minute, like this is tournament. Like, of course he's not gonna do that. Like, but I wanted it. Like, it, I, I saw it. So cool. I like saw it play out in my head. I was like, dare him, dare him. <laughs> okay, I. This is a. Uh, I'm if I'm Elgin, I might be chalking this one up. I just let, let's, let's try to get some degree of notes here and escape this one with a little bit of a. Did, did he, oh, big F tilt though. Yeah, Elegant definitely getting a... Uh, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> that, the aerial version, not too crazy. Going to get back onto stage, the get-up attack. Very, a lot of range on Cloud's get-up attack. The cross-up, question mark? I uh, thought... That was unintentional. <laughs> that was weird. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah, there There's we go. the roll. There's the roll. Spargo, he has the hype moments in mid-set, and then at the very end, it's all business-like. Big back air. But, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, that... <laughs> That game was... <laughs> that was so... That was that, that totally floored, floored me, man. Because even when Spargo got that up B on the second stock, I was... I, I thought Spargo was just going to go... Oh, what's up? 
I have no idea. I think they're talking about stages. Oh, sorry. But <laughs> I, I thought Spargo was going to go for, you know, uh, up B into up B2 and just uh, spike him and take th take the stock trade. But just immediately snaps ledge, goes into the nair. Elegant not ready for the stage spike. Oh. And man, what a what a stock, what a game. Yeah, and he must have known the percentage range just to get that amount of knockback off nair in order to put right. Elegant into that situation, too. Spargo, smart kid. <laughs> oh, absolutely. All right, nice. so we'll see if Elegant can bring it to a game number five here against Spargo. Spargo definitely uh, coming coming in with a lot of momentum oh, off that last game. But he, speaking of momentum, here's the grab, but nothing too much out of it. Uh, it might not have all come in one. Let's see if Elegant. Uh, he, he's been trying to play against uh -oh. Cross Slash as a shield so much, and it's just not necessarily paying off outside of game one. Okay. Elegant going to hit the down B, try to burn the limit. No, the neutral air dodge just comes back onto the ground. Oh, wow. Spargo was calling his shot, and he called it again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Very, In baseball, uh, they only get you to be one swing. <laughs> In Smash, you get plenty. Oh, man, Spargo going for some greedy options here. Back oh, the, the patient stage. up air. But look at all this damage. So uh, many up airs. The no back air. fly zone for Luigi, man. No fly zone. Oh, maybe trying to set up a directional air dodge. The limit is going to uh, be able to get oh. him back. No, the down tilt is oh. enough with the dare. Yeah. Okay, okay, Elegant keeping it close to the chest here. Uh, Elegant just waiting for this opening. Doesn't oh. go for the pivot grab there. Goes high, new air dodge back to the ground, and Spargo okay. just okay. making it very clear that he's controlling center stage. Yeah. I see the SDI oh. coming out. And a slight escape from Spargo, and he reverses the situation. He's going to go deep for cross yep. slash. He does! Yep, yep. You, you cannot go for those low side The thing is, I actually feel limit. like the ledge cling there might have actually juked Elegant, because he probably thought Spargo might have just been feigning it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, try to go. I respect it. I respect <laughs> it. Like, on paper, like, that, that is what you should do. If you're... If, if you're... If you know that's going to come out... Oh, wait a... Uh-oh, uh -oh. wait, wait. Oh, you're dead. man! That's it, and we're going to game five. That, uh... <laughs> <laughs> hey, sometimes Luigi Jank just wins out in the end. And honestly, I mean, again, it's all about execution at, the, at this level. Like, yeah. Elegant being able to secure the ledge trap even in light of limit up B early on. Like, he was able to push Sparta continuously off stage and yeah. get that ledge, uh, ledge trap. Like, Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, like, it... For Spargo too, he he his ledge trapping has been phenomenal. So maybe at least for this game number five, maybe not so much risk off stage or you know or at least like the the SD edge guards kind of deal. Right. Ooh, fair dash tag. Oh, he was going for it out there back air, but tornado saves elegant for a moment. Oh, he overthought that situation, Charles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Elegant utilizing the platform, giving his uh, down B a little bit more mix. Is he going to slide off the platform? Is he not? Okay, oh, but the grab, grab. This should be a lot of damage. But oh my god, did you see that? He double spot dodged on the spot. Yeah, he, <laughs> it looked like he was just SDIing as yeah! well, just like in terms <laughs> of like the player cam or whatnot. So, nonetheless, elegant, uh -oh. still getting a good amount of damage. The plunger connects. The limit is still online here. Okay, and up air plunger shot, but ooh, Ellen's gonna take a limit cross, a limit play beam for that. There. Oh, so smart. Oh. <laughs> that was, that like, you could have tried to like land on the ground and do like an air or like a grounded tilt or something. You, you didn't have a lot of time, so he just uses the double jump, gets right up and over. But the down throw cycle is going to keep things even here. Game five. Yeah. All Elden has to do is keep things close. That's his goal right now. Yeah. Trying to get these cross up rolls to the center stage. Elegant trying to find this opening here. Is he going to use fireballs? He just, looks like There's he's just no using fireballs, pretty yeah. much. Okay, trying to get the rising uh, fair opening here. Uh, I will say Spargo is catching Elgin's rolls of fair a lot in this matchup. Oh, going uh -oh. backwards into the bear. Gets the bear, but well. he does get limit. <gasps> no, my goodness, that directional air dodge was oh. pretty high. They say him out with tornado. Good jab. Oh my gosh. Okay. He, he's okay. He body blocked him in further. That was the so wild. The jab one, two into the grab, because if you fit, like, a little gamble there from Elegant, but it definitely ends up paying off there. Doesn't get the dare here. Elegant, can he tack on any bit of damage? Only 2% on right now. Elegant right now is, oh. 
It's so it's that that position is so hard against Cloud, and then like on top of that, Spargo's Cloud particularly is just so damn good at just keeping you on the ledge, oh, keeping you on the this corner. Might be it. Oh, he can't. He was able to steep one. He steeped two. Man. Oh, and now right now, can Elegant escape? Elegant shield oh. looking so low right now. Oh, he that po shield yeah. poked him. Yeah. yeah. Oh, lighter hit of tornado man to strike Spargo. Spargo in a really bad position. Oh, oh you went the grab. Yeah, that was that was tough. It was, it was like a directional air dodge too. Like there was some drift mix up there. Elegant could have played it a little slower, but gets to the right there. Oh, and again, the roll read fares from Spargo. He's really even on that. Yeah. And that tilt did do yeah. it. And that is to the end, uh, MSM. Yeah, Spargo. Wow. Spargo so damn clean. They just was able to close it out. And I'm telling you, man, the, the, the way Spargo plays the 